What up squad? So in all of my Galaxy Z Fold 4, even my Z Flip videos, y'all were asking me in the comments, you were like, see kid, bro, where did you get that wallpaper from and how did you get the raindrop effects on your Z Fold 4? Well, in this video right here, y'all, all of your answers will be answered. So let's not waste no more time, y'all. Let's just jump right into it because it's actually way easier than you might think. I promise you. All right, so first things first, y'all, y'all already know the rules and how we get down on the channel over here. Comment down below right now how many likes is on this video at the time that you guys are watching it and let's go ahead and run it up man because y'all asked for this video so you better hit that like button <laughs> all right so there's a couple apps you're gonna need to download in order to get this set up to work for you guys as well now the first app that you're gonna need to download is called hdq walls which is the best place in order for you guys to get wallpapers regardless of actually what phone that you guys may own like to me y'all like they to go now the second app that you guys need to download is an app called rain paper this is going to give us that rain effect that you guys are seeing right here on the screen now the next app that you guys need to download is called kwgt now this is going to be the home base for setting up the widgets that you guys are seeing right here on this screen as well and then you also need to download a widget pack called huk kwgt so don't worry y'all if you don't have a clear understanding yet of what each one of these applications that i just told you guys to download is used for i'm going to be breaking it down in a simplistic way in this video right here so you know just 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 stick around with your boy. <laughs> all right, so now that y'all got all the apps installed, we ready to build this thing from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this setup right here off the screen. All right, y'all, so the very first thing y'all gonna need to do is you wanna go ahead and go to the app HDQ Walls. Now, I told you guys, this is the best place where you can get just a ton of different high quality wallpapers. All of these wallpapers is gonna be in 4K, so you're gonna be getting the top end resolution uh, that you guys are gonna need. Now, for me, I already kind of know which ones I actually want in here, but you can search by so many different things. You have all of these different categories, celebrities, cars, nature, artists, and all of that. Now, the ones that you guys have seen in my previous videos, um, and you might have actually seen it on the thumbnail here, depending on the thumbnail I use for this video, but um, you want to type in Zelda, and then you're going to go to The Legend of Zelda. I'm a huge Zelda fan, and then I just scroll down here to the bottom. Now, this is the one that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos that I've had. Um, you guys have been asking, where did I get that wallpaper from? Boom, it's right here. And then all you guys got to do is just tap on download. Now, when you guys have found the wallpaper that you guys like, the first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and tap on download. And because we're going to be doing this for the uh, inside here of the screen, we want to go ahead and select landscape. And we're just going to go ahead and save that. Now, I've already actually had this is downloaded, which is why it's going to show it like that. But once you guys actually have that downloaded, boom, we are now done with that application or whatever wallpaper that you guys decided to choose. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up rain paper. And then here you want to go ahead and tap on background. And then you want to tap on my images. And then here you're going to go ahead and find the one that you guys like or the one that you guys say now this is the one that i actually saved right here but for the sake of this video i'm actually going to use a different one um that i actually picked out which is this bmw right here like sitting in a warehouse now once you guys actually select it you're going to get the option to be able to scale it up now depending on the photo that you guys have you know you may not want to scale it all the way up you may want to move it around or however you guys want to do it you want to try to find what you guys want in the uh, screen now for this one here I kind of want it center but I also want a little bit of the smoke on the side so we're gonna go ahead and select done once we have it and then here you're gonna get a preview of what it's gonna look like on the side and you can just kind of swipe and you can just kind of see right here what that's gonna look like like already it looks dope all right so the next thing we're gonna do is kind of swipe back but we got to change some of the settings so you want to go into customization and then in here we want to change a couple of the effects now we want to change dim amount now I usually have this somewhere in the middle or right around 50% and then for fogginess I have this somewhere around I would say about 40 45% is where I kind of sit this one at now fogginess is going to be like the amount of kind of like background blur that is going to give you uh, just kind of adding that more haze to it and then as far as wind speed I have this at 0% the rain chance I actually have this one more around like 75% uh, on this screen because we do want uh, rain droplets to actually show on the screen now the rain intensity this is going to be how fast the rain is actually coming down the screen now for me i don't want it to come down like too fast i want it to kind of kind of drip down the screen or whatnot so i have this one somewhere around like 35 percent and then storminess now this is if you guys want like lightning and stuff like that 
I don't need lightning in mine just because I just think it looks kind of corny. Uh, so I just have that at zero and then snow, we have that at zero. Now raindrop scale. Now this is going to be based on your personal preference, but this is going to measure how big of the droplets that you guys actually want on the screen. Now for me, I keep this somewhere around like 60, 65 percentage is where I kind of have this scale right here. Now, once you got all of these presets set, we want to go ahead and go back and then we want the top here. We want to go ahead and tap on activate. And then here is going to give us a preview of what it's going to look like. And then here at the bottom, we want to go ahead and select set wallpaper. Now it's going to give us the option for home screen as well as home screen and lock screen. So we want the home screen and the lock screen. And boom, just like that, y'all swipe up from the bottom. And then boom, now you guys have your wallpaper with the rain effect. Just like that, man, you about, I would say, you about a good 70 some percent done with this entire setup, y'all. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our calendar here on the side that you guys saw. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the next thing in order to add the calendar widget, again, we wanted to go ahead and install KWGT. So what we're going to do is on the home screen here, we want to just go ahead and press and hold. And then we want to go ahead and tap on widgets at the bottom. Now in this selection here, we wanna go ahead and go down to custom widget and we're gonna tap on that. Now for this one, we wanna do a one by one grid and we're just gonna press add. And now we're gonna see this one here, just kinda go here. Now we're just gonna move it back to the home screen here of where we want it. So we're just gonna press and hold here. Now we kinda want it in the corner here just to kinda give it that effect. Now I'm gonna drag it down about three quarters of the way to screen down. And then from here, we're gonna tap off of it. And then from there, we just wanna press into it. Now this is gonna take us to that KWGT application that we installed. And now we also already installed this pack here, which is HUK KWGT. Now inside of this pack is where we wanna actually go. Now in here, we wanna go ahead and find that date one that we have. Now the one that we have here is free 113. So let's go ahead and tap on this one. All right, so now it's gonna open up an editor for you guys to be able to, uh, you can change the colors, you can change the layout, the style, however you guys want it. But just for the sake of it, just to show it to you, we wanna go ahead and press on the little save icon here at the top. So we're gonna press on that. Now it is saved. And now if we swipe back, we can now see it on our home screen. Now, the only downside to this right now is it's a little too small, right? Like we want it to be a little bit bigger on the side. So in order to do that, we wanna just go ahead and tap on it. It's gonna open up the editor for you guys again. Now in here, we have a couple items here at the bottom. We wanna go to layers. And then here we wanna go to scale. And we, all we wanna do is we just wanna scale this up to be like super, super big. Let's do like 52.5. And now this one here is kind of a trial and error. You just kind of have to play with it to get it to the size that you guys want it to. So let's just go back because we want it to be a little bit bigger than that. We're going to go to like 66.5. Press save. All right, 66.5 looks pretty solid. Now, now we have our date here on the side. Now, again, you can have all different customizations in here. You guys can change like the text font that you guys want to use or whatnot. But for me, I think the font looks fine. So I just to keep it as the default font. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add those icon widgets at the bottom. Now, this one here, I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little bit tedious uh, in order for us to actually get this to actually get on the screen. But Follow me and uh, I'm gonna get y'all there. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna again, we wanna press and hold, we wanna tap on widgets. We're gonna go back down to where it says custom widget. And again, we're gonna do a one by one and then we're just gonna press on add. Now, once we actually add this one, now again, we just wanna move this one back to the home screen if it doesn't uh, go there by default for you guys. Now, once we have it here, we just wanna drag this all the way across the screen um just to kind of give us that area so we want to make sure it's kind of centered within our screen now once we actually had that we're going to click off of it and then again we're just going to press inside of it and it's going to open up our kwgt widget now we're going to go back to huk kwgt and then we're just going to scroll and find the pack that we want so the one we need here y'all is free 188 so we're just going to go ahead and tap on that one now it's going to look completely different but we don't worry y'all we're going to get it all set up so the first thing we want to do is just press save that way we can just get the widget here to show up on the screen now if you guys want to keep it this way you can but for me I like to actually make it to where it actually matches the background of my phone or whatever. Now, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get rid of this like white background that we got on these buttons here. Now, in order to do that here, we wanna go ahead and go to icons. And then here we wanna go ahead and tap on 
uh, whichever icon that we want. So the first one is phone. And now here we want to go to shape. Now within shape, we want to go to paint. And then we're going to go to uh, tap here. And then we're going to take this one all the way down to the opacity is zero. And then we're just going to press on apply. And now you can see that the background is removed. So we're just going to do the exact same thing for every single one of these. Now, in order for you guys to go back up a layer, you just want to tap on the icons here on the side. And it's just going to move you back up to a layer. So we want to go back to the icons layer. And then we're going to go to messages. Cool. So now that we have all of the icons with the backgrounds actually removed, not gonna lie, I kind of actually like the colors that actually shown here. So I don't know. I might do like a multicolor one here at the bottom just to kind of throw some little color here on the screen in itself. So I don't know. I think I might actually go with that vibe. So the next thing we're gonna do here is now that we have the backgrounds removed, the next thing we want to do is we want to kind of make the layers bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and just expand this out. Uh, do somewhere like 90.7. Let's see what that looks like here on the screen. All right, so we're actually gonna make this way bigger. Let's do like 115.7. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. That's part of about what I want. All right, so now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go back and wanna to touch on icons. Now, it all depends on what application you guys want here. Now, the first one here, we do have phone. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna tap on phone. I'm gonna to go to touch. Now, I wanna actually make sure that this is actually set to phone. Uh, because sometimes it probably default is actually not going to be your phone So you will have to go in this way and then you want to go ahead and find phone So we're just going to tap on phone and now it is now linked every time that you touch that it's going to open up your phone application So boom open up the phone application and it works now you will have to do that for every single one of these uh, So let's go ahead and change the color scheme and go ahead and get that one locked in right? All right, so we want to go to font icon for this one and then we want to go ahead and go to paint and now this first color here i'm going to change this one to a yellow now i already kind of have a yellow that i like right here save but if you guys don't then you just want to go ahead and slide this little slider up here until you guys find the color that you like now once you guys have that color you just want to go ahead and press on apply now you can see that color here is going to show at the top here and then here we're going to go to effects now this is giving us that gradient look that you guys are seeing right here now what i want to do is let's actually just make the whole icon yellow let's do that so we're not even going to do a gradient yeah let's just do all yellow ones i think that'll look dope all right so let's go ahead and uh do this for each and every single icon so we're just going to go here and then uh the next thing we want to do is is messages so i, I do want to actually keep messages here so we're going to go ahead and just change the font icon here and we're going to go to paint and then we're just going to choose that same yellow and we're just going to make that go to fx and then we're just going to tap find the color and then boom we're gonna save it now another thing again we want to make sure is that when we actually go to uh we're gonna go here next thing we want to do when we go to touch we want to make sure that this application actually is going to launch our messages app so we're just going to scroll down the messages tap here boom and now we're good to go now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and change this from chrome now i don't actually want chrome to actually be here so this is how you guys are going to change this, right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to tap on it. Then we want to go to font icon, go tap on icon. And now in here, I want to change this to YouTube, right? So here I want to change the YouTube. We have the play button here at the bottom. So I can now change that to that play button. And then the next thing I want to do is again, we want to change the paint on this one because we want it to kind of match that same color scheme that we have. And then we're going to change the effects change that one to yellow as well now the next thing we want to do is because what you guys see right here is we still have the name chrome right so we want to actually go in and we want to change that so in order to change that we're just going to select the checkbox here and then at the top here we want to tap on the edit and then here we're just going to change this to say youtube all right so, all right, we're going to change that to YouTube. Now, the last thing that we need to do with this one is we actually got to set the touch. So we want this to actually open YouTube whenever we tap on it, right? So we want to go ahead and just go ahead and go into here. And then when from the list, we're just going to select YouTube. Boom. Now YouTube is paired to that. Now, if I go ahead and tap on that one, it should open up and launch YouTube. Pretty dope, right? All right. So now the last thing we want to do is we're just going to finish these bottom ones out here real quick.
and then boom just like that y'all you have a full clean setup now you can actually move this around so like if you want it to be like up here you can or if you want to move this down you can actually do that so for me this is the setup that i would actually go for and i would rock and this is basically how i get this entire setup to show up here on the screen so if you guys have any any questions of anything that you guys have seen in this video then let me know down in the comment section below and uh i'll definitely make sure to get back with y'all but nonetheless y'all this is how i got this setup to actually work here it's a pretty simple setup but again y'all got questions let me know down in the comment section below and like always y'all make your move and always remember your why and i'll see y'all in the next one <laughs> that's how you get the setup now y'all got y'all rain set up <laughs>